Hey guys, NJ here. So I have torn down these EV900 goggles um, to see what kind of options I have in terms of modifying these so that they can fit someone with any kind of a western nose I guess because at the minute this shape definitely doesn't work. Um, upon taking them apart there are a few things that I've discovered, some of which I'll talk about in my second part of the review and some things I will talk about right now. One of those things is the fact that you can see a little more about what's going on with these optics. So I was saying before these, uh, these aren't the Fresnel lens anymore and if I show you these up close can you see just how thick those optics are. They are pretty damn beefy and it does appear that as I said they're proper lenses but they are lenses. Um, <clears throat> this is not just simply something that's passing through to the screen uh, in order, order to get that nice wide field of view on that five inch screen up close there has to be some kind of magnification and this is no exception so I think generally that's going to be bad news for those of you that are perhaps far-sighted because there is no in and out adjustment. The nature by, way, by which these go together perhaps there is room to push this a little bit further away because they all seem to mount via these six screw points this could be adjusted but by such a small amount I'm not sure that it will make a difference. Maybe some kind of printed TPU gasket of some kind might be able to move this further out. Um, I can't really see an option to be able to move this further in though, but maybe something to experiment with, I'm not sure. It's a shame there is an actual adjustment. But if I hold these up, you, you'll notice that if I put them there, you can see they are indeed magnifying. So that's the situation there. Now this is far too light for that to be glass, which is good news because it means I will be able to do some modification to the lens and the nose piece in order for this to fit my face. And now that these are out, I can probably give you a better example of the same problem I had with the Sky Zones, which is that they seem to want to put the bridge of the nose, oh, let me spin it round, they seem to want the bridge of the nose recess to start down here, but of course the center of your optics are up here. And where my nose bridge is and where it starts to come out is up here in line with the center of the optic. So you can see having a nose bridge down here just isn't going to work for me and I think anyone who has you know a nose at this angle or bigger or you know just what can I say it's not going to fit and it doesn't and it's not very comfortable. I can probably show you this a little bit by trying to fit this up to my face. So in order for this to be comfortable now obviously I've got the padding removed so we can account for a little bit of that but if I move this up to a point where it's comfortable on my face and there isn't too much of a gap under here i.e. where the padding would be you can see my eyes are too low in order to get the optics in line with my eyes which I guess is about there I now have a huge gap under here and if I spin round a little bit I can kind of show you this you should be able to see the gap here is absolutely huge and that is making contact with my nose my eyes are as close as I can get them in in the center of the screen and yeah the gap here is absolutely huge. If I want to reduce that gap I've got to move this up. Now this is comfortable and where the foam would fill in will be fine but my eyes are far too low to see down the screen. So that is a real real problem. I really hope they fix this but as I did with the Sky Zones you know I've got to make these comfortable, I've got to make them work. So what I'm probably going to do here is to dremel away the middle section. I will actually have to dremel away up probably about a quarter of a way up the height here of this lens. And then I will probably use exactly as I did before some of that Sergu stuff, uh, Suguru, sorry, just to be able to recreate a new plastic mould. Um, there is quite a lot of dead space back there. There's nothing electronic in the way of where this mounts. So I can recreate a nose mould that will better, better accommodate my nose and anyone with, a, I guess, a nose this kind of shape. So I will give that a go and see how that works. And then again, I will report back to you, but I will, in the review part two video, show you um, some results of that. And also I'll show you a little more of some of the things I've discovered looking at the internals of the goggles themselves. One thing I can tell you is it definitely has proper diversity there are two separate receivers in there so that's good to see um, but no sign of any point uh, where I could see maybe they had an option for a DVR to mount no space on the PCB sometimes you get consideration for those things and then they're just not mounted there you know it might have been in the PCB schematic and marked out a space for it but then they decided at the last minute not to add it for me it looks like from the get-go there was just no thought put into a DVR again a shame 
Gonna have to make a lot of sacrifices for this uh, for these um, for this amazing screen, and it is an amazing screen. Let's just hope they make some revisions to this um, for some of those things because you could end up with a product that's really, I think, something super competitive and could be, you know, if the latency is also good, could be such a contender. Um, I don't know whether they're going to take my advice or whether they're going to modify it or not, but I've said my piece to them and I've explained it to them in a video like this and I've sent them drawings. Whether they're going to listen or not, I don't know. All I can do is report back. Anyway, thanks for your time, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.